Do you ever get questions from people like, what what the heck does CL you mean? Well, one of them says, gee, your wife's got a funny name. And you're referring to Cialia yeah. on the license plate. <sighs> and I I told him it wasn't uh, my wife's name. This was Cialia, the genus for Bluebird. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you do with the old ones? Do you just save them? Yeah. Can't throw something like that away. Oh, absolutely not. Not with all this other junk that I save. <laughs> I bought it new in 67 for $2,700, brand new. And I had CLU on that too. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think a, a, a person would uh, prime the carburetor and, and get the battery charged up, he could probably get it to fire over. While I was on the non-game wildlife committee and uh, <clears throat> we were searching for some way to raise funds for the non-game wildlife and uh, it seemed like Florida had come out with a wildlife license plate and word got around to us and that that's one way we could do it so we batted the idea around a little bit and decided that's what we wanted to do. We'd have a, a license plate, uh, a wildlife license plate. What do we want to put on a license plate? Some of them wanted to have the elk and some of the mountain goat and uh, a, a fish. And uh, when it got around the committee to me, I suggested a bluebird. Since bluebird was our state bird anyway, and uh, that seemed to click. But the fellow just next to me come up with uh, wood tick. I think he had his tongue in his cheek when he said wood tick, but um, we finally decided we would, we would come up with, uh, with um, a bluebird. I happened to be floating down the river with a couple of uh, state senators and I told them to be on the lookout for some legislation for uh, having um, a wildlife license plate and talked it over with them. And sure enough, those, those two boys, they uh, got behind it and uh, got it through the legislature. So it come time to um, get the license plates and the governor I think wanted the number one bluebird plate for his wife's car. Anyway, uh, come time to issue the plates, they gave it to me. On a side, when people asked me, I'd tell them I had to arm wrestle the governor for that. <laughs> but uh, oh, Cecil Andrus, he's a pretty good guy, and I, I liked him pretty well. And I was down in, uh, in uh, California one time with the uh, um, Western Bird Banding Association. And one of the fellows says, in California, only the governor gets number one. Are you the governor of Idaho? <laughs> <laughs> and another fellow pulled up next to me there in a parking lot down near the Utah border in uh, the rest area. And he took a look at me and at the license plate, he says, how in the hell did you get number one? <laughs> <laughs> he was a friend of, or he had gone to school with Cecil Andrus and he was going to talk to Cecil. And uh, it surprised him that I wasn't Cecil. <laughs> <laughs> it cost $35 and uh, $10 of it goes to the wildlife and of course, 25 is a standard uh, specialty plate that the DMV gets. They made some some good money. Oh that yeah, way. yeah. Well, ten times forty thousand, that'd be four hundred thousand dollars. Pretty good. <laughs> a year. 